Rescue workers sift through rubble, searching for signs of life at this apartment block in the Ukrainian city of Dnipro. It was hit as part of a major Russian missile attack on Saturday. At least 12 people died with more than 60 wounded, including a dozen children, officials said, with more believed to be trapped inside. The city's mayor said it was a tragedy, vowing that searches would continue through the night. I am speechless, said this resident of a nearby building. Officials said missiles also struck critical infrastructure facilities in the regions of Kharkiv and Lviv. Ukraine's energy minister warned of difficult days ahead as months of Russian bombardment of the power grid threatened electricity, water and heating supplies in the height of winter. In his nightly address, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky appealed to the West to supply more weapons to prevent further deaths from what he described as Russian terror. Also on Saturday, a spokesperson for British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said he indicated Britain would send tanks and artillery systems during a phone call with Zelensky. British Foreign Minister James Cleverly promised more details in the coming week. But our support to the Ukrainian people in their uh, self-defense against Russian uh, aggression uh, is unwavering. Meanwhile, Ukraine said its forces were battling to hold on to control of the small town of Solodar amid raging street fighting and advancing Russian forces. <laughs> Residents who fled to a miner's dorm in a Russian-controlled area said there's little left of their hometown. <laughs> Only ruins remain, said Ludmila. Everything is bombed out. Nothing left there. Russia has sacrificed large numbers of troops and resources to secure some kind of advance in Solodar after months of setbacks. On Friday, Russia said its forces had taken control of the town. Reuters could not immediately verify the situation there.